June 20th, earthquakes shake North Iceland. An earthquake measuring 5.7 was felt in towns and villages in North Iceland on Saturday. The largest quake occurred just after 3 p.m. and was centered offshore, roughly 20 kilometers northeast of Sigilfjörgu, according to the Iceland Met Office. It came on the heels of a similarly sized quake measuring 5.4 in the same area and was felt by residents in Dalvik, Hofsfoss, Sigilfjörgur, Ayrkurei, as well as those in the municipality of Horksgudveit, further inland. Now, the Tjörn's fracture zone started experiencing an earthquake swarm on Friday afternoon, peaking with the 5.7 quake on Saturday. Following this, there were a number of smaller quakes, many of which were measured at 3.0 or higher. Though the largest earthquake was felt all around the region, it doesn't seem to have caused any substantial damage, and police in the area said they had received fewer calls about it than expected, most likely because sunny weather had taken most people outdoors on this Saturday afternoon, an afternoon of boom. Now here's the Tunis fracture zone up in the north. Here is the uptick you can see beginning on the 15th with a 5.2. A huge a swarm of tremors here, tectonic activity, peaking, uh, coming to a lull here on the 18th and then peaking again on the 19th and the 20th. Let's blow that up a little so you can see the substantial amount of quake there. Now, we're going to go over to the USGS downgrade service where you see they only show three of Hundreds of quakes that have occurred here over the last 48 hours, hours of powers. Now, this is the Mid-Ocean Ridge, which is a uh, point on Earth, which is opposite of a subduction zone. Okay, the Mid-Ocean Ridge is where continental crust is being built in the form of ocean crust. You have spreading in both directions here. It's called a divergent plate boundary because they diverge away from each other, creating more land and a larger earth. And this divergent zone has been quite active over the last several years. Here in the Reykjanes Ridge region, we have tectonic activity increasing in the form of tremors and earthquake swarms associated with volcanic activity. Up in the north, it just seems to be tectonic. Now, here's the whole country earthquakes during the last 48 hours, and you can see in those volcanic regions still earthquake swarms, as well as here and here, and tectonically now moving up into the north. This may transfer down along that ridge to the south, and it might be boom time. I hope you got something out of the video. Iceland is rocking, as predicted. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be safe. Stay tuned for more updates. We love you.